Tonight, Fox 17 News investigates why license plate readers approved by Metro Council more than a year ago still are not being used. Council signed off on the pilot program that led to 112 arrests and the recovery of stolen cars and guns. Well, the question tonight, why the foot dragging? As Fox 17 News' Dennis Ferrier shows us, some are pointing the finger at National Mayor Freddie O'Connell. License plate readers have been approved, but the mayor is not releasing the money to implement the million dollar a year program. In the meantime, Nashville's understaffed police department's missing a tool it badly desires and a tool many of you want them to have now. The oldest license plate reader in Nashville, Tennessee sits at the entrance of the Haynes Park neighborhood in Bordeaux. One at the entrance and one at the exit. Two license plate readers quietly capturing photos of every license plate that enters this neighborhood for the past four years. The people who live here say it's the best thing they've ever done. It is safe and it's peaceful. There's no more shooting, cars uh, driving up the street. We're not having it. While Nashville police don't keep crime statistics for subdivisions, the people who live here don't care about statistics. They know crime has literally vanished from their neighborhood. It is a success. And if it wasn't, then we wouldn't continue to pay that amount of money. You might remember these license plate readers were touted as force multipliers, a way to get more policing without more police officers. Councilwoman Tanya Hancock says her district needs them now. In Madison, we're down to about seven police officers per shift, and we need about 16. And, you know, we have 69 square miles to cover, so you just can't cover it efficiently with that number of people, but the LPRs would really help. During Nashville's six-month pilot program, these LPRs read 71 million plates, led to 112 arrests, which added up to 128 auto theft charges, 47 drug charges, 30 robbery charges. LPR champion Councilwoman Courtney Johnston, who introduced the original bill. The rest of the city is moving forward, and we've got challenges, we've got needs, we've got issues that we need to address, and everything seems to be on hold until this transit plan either passes or fails. And it's just unfortunate. We, we're, we are more than just uh, a city that is in need of transit. So we know what they could do, but they are not doing anything because the mayor has not released funding. Why haven't you funded them yet? Why is your office not put that money in the budget and get these on the street? We knew that coming into office there were a lot of unresolved concerns that were out in the community. Uh, so we took some time earlier this year uh, to host a series of com uh, additional community meetings. Uh, there is still some work being done between our office and the Metro Nashville Police Department to uh, update the the overall policy framework that LPRs are there, but it is still very much uh, on our agenda to try to deliver a safe and responsible implementation. Let's go back to the LPRs in the Haynes Park neighborhood, a neighborhood that spends 4000 a year of its own money for LPRs. The ladies here have a message for Mayor Freddie O'Connell. Mayor O'Connell is not a black, white, brown thing. It's a humanity thing. It's a character issue. If you're evil, you're evil. If you're good, you're good. We should not have to. Uh, we need to give our police department something to work with. We ask you, Mayor, to please consider the good uh, for the, the city, that this is not a black, white, brown thing. The mayor says LPRs are a long shot for the 2025 budget and that most likely will make it in 2026. There are a lot of people who won't be happy with that. You just heard from some of them. I'm Dennis Ferrier, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.